Hello Mono Video Making a Roll. I've had this video idea to make for quite some time now and it's been sitting on my little notepad of video ideas to make. Video ideas, ideas of videos to make. And so um, I'm just going to make it now. And uh, this topic is men in women's clothing. Where do I even begin? Let me get off my foot because I can't feel my leg. Oh, my tailbone hurts so much. Uh, anyway, um, Okay, a lot of people, a lot of guys feel like they're not allowed to wear women's clothing. Society frowns upon men in dresses, men in corsets, men in makeup, things like that for the most part. And I just think that it's fucking ridiculous and it's a, it's a shame really how the world has changed so much that there are such set gender allowed fashions or lifestyles and we still haven't moved on from that. If you look back through the ages, in reality, pretty much everything that men aren't allowed to wear now, they originally were the ones that those styles were made for. High heels, corsets, wigs, makeup, you know, um, pretty sure skirts, dresses, uh, things like that. And women are the ones who came along and adopted them. And in reality, I also read somewhere that the color blue was originally for females and pink was for men. And somehow, as time has passed, it switched around to where pink was for female babies and blue was for males. And now it's like taboo for a guy to wear pink. And it's like, uh, you know, it seems okay for chicks to wear blue, but it's like taboo, taboo, taboo for guys to do anything. And I just think it's a load of crap because... This was all originally for guys to start with, and now it's like they're the ones that are looked down on and hassled if they dare to wear a dress or they dare to wear high heels, and it's like, I just wish people would really get over themselves and just let people look the way they want to look. It doesn't hurt anybody. I think it's really cool if a guy has the balls to wear whatever the fuck he wants to wear. If a guy wants to wear a skirt, a skirt is so much more comfortable than pants are. And I'm sure if you have balls and a dick dangling down, the line of the pants sitting on your nutsack must be a hell of a lot more uncomfortable than wearing like a long flowy skirt or something, or even a short skirt if you have nice legs. I mean, guys should be allowed to do that. Like, chicks are all about women's lib and, oh, I, I don't have to shave if I don't want to. I can have hairy armpits. I can have this and that. But you're not really hearing any speak out about men and their ability to dress how they want to dress and do what they want to do. Men usually get the short end of the stick and they don't, they don't really have a voice as much as women do. I shared a post a couple weeks ago, um, from this men, menism, menimism page or whatever. It's like feminism, but for men. And, um, I agree with a lot of what they say there. I got into this huge argument with some idiot because they're like, you know that this is just a piss take, right? And I'm like, I don't know if it's a piss take. I don't know who the actors are, what they really feel about what's being printed on their faces. It's what is actually said on their pictures that I agreed with. And it was things along those lines, you know, like men aren't allowed to be stay at home dads. It's the women that are allowed to. And, you know, if a man doesn't pay for dinner, he's looked down on. Or if a man doesn't do this and he's the one looked down on but you know why do women get to get away with all this and men don't it's it's a really really unfair world still and women are coming out in leaps and bounds wanting things to change for them so that they have equal rights but men aren't actually getting the same rights as women because men are still forced into this you're a guy, you have to get up, you have to go to work, you have to take care of the family, you have to look a certain way, you have to act a certain way, you, you know, you have a hard time getting custody of your children, if the, even if the mom is an unfit mom, because moms usually win all the custody battles, it's rare that the dad gets full custody of a child, and if a dad wants to not work and just stay at home, he's really looked down on, and it's just, I think it's just really ridiculous and it's really unfair. And my heart goes out to a lot of these men that feel trapped by society's ideas of what a male is supposed to be, especially when they're the ones that a lot of these things were started for. And if you look at nature, it's the male animals that are the flashy, colorful ones. It's the females that are the boring, drab, 
creatures, you know, like the male peacock versus the female peacock. Uh, I know there's other animals out there, but, you know, like the lion with this big mane. And, I mean, the males are the flashy ones. The males are the ones who look spectacular, except with humans. With humans, it's the females with all the makeup. And it's females with all this and all that. But the males are called gay or, you know, you little faggot and all that if they try to do stuff that originally was for them. And, I don't know, I just wanted to give my two cents on that and mention how unfair I think it is. And, um... I keep hoping for the world to change and be more accepting, but I mean, like tattoos are rampant now. I mean, there are so many people with tattoos, but you still see all these posts about how ugly tattoos are and how people don't accept people with body art. And it just seems in a way for every step forward we take, we take two steps backwards and where we find one thing to accept about ourselves or other people, we find five more that we complain about. And it's just like, why does it have to be that way? You know, why can't we just accept each other for who we are and not have to bitch and complain? Why is your hair like that? Why is your makeup like that? Oh, you like to contour? You like to do this and that? Why? What's the point? Maybe because I like it. You know, I personally don't contour, but I know a lot of women rely on it to change the shape of their face. And men are like, why do you contour this? I don't like girls with makeup. Well, you know, you shouldn't. I like the natural look. And girls are like, well, I do it because I want to do it. And guys have a problem with that. Or, you know, guys get away with being fat and hairy and still getting like good looking girls. And usually chicks, if they're fat and hairy, can't get a good looking guy unless they're chubby chasers and have some kind of fat fetish. Um, they're double standards all over. And I, I don't really think it's going to change. Um, I'm not trying to change anything. I'm just giving my two cents here. I just really wish people would be more accepting. I never go to anybody and say that I hate the way they look. They don't have a right to look the way that they look just because it's not something I agree with. But people feel no, they see no problem with coming to me and saying, oh, I don't like the way you look. Why do you look like that? And it's like, what am I doing that bothers you so much? What in my life directly affects you? I don't get as much hate now as I used to, but... The hate is still there for me and people like me. And it's just like, when when will we be past this? When will people grow and learn to love each other instead of always just throwing hate for hate's sake? You know, um, not in my lifetime, that's for sure. I mean, I don't know if it'll happen anytime, really. I mean, we're, it seems like we're hardwired to be assholes. And that's the sad truth of it.